the names of all your favorite University of Hawaii men's athletic teams are about to change as UH says aloha to the rainbows. KITV4 Sports Director Robert K. Kaula has details in our top story. Robert. Yep, UH Athletics Director Ben Jay on the job for exactly one month tomorrow. Today, effective immediately, internally anyway, and effective externally July 1st, announce all men's athletic programs at the University of Hawaii will now be known as Warriors, no longer Rainbows, nor Rainbow Warriors. Women's teams will remain Rainbow Wahine. We're looking for the consistency of who we are, and, and that's the reason why we've settled on this as, as Warriors being for the men's teams and Rainbow Wahine for the women's teams. Those three words alone, to me, answer the questions I ask. They are representative of who we are and who the audience are. <laughs> What is some of the feedback that you've gotten? When I ask people, who are we and what is representative of the islands? Because I was confused by all the different nicknames that we have. We have five or six different nicknames that we're calling our teams. From a branding and marketing standpoint, you know, we, had to, we had to really just cut down the number of names that we have. Go Boats, go! Go Boats, go! Our fans know us by all the different names. They're going to continue to cheer the, the various names that they've been calling us by. That won't change. But uh, who we are and who we identify ourselves as uh, will come down to those three. Now, we'll hear more from Ben Jay later in KITV4 Sports at 10. And we'll hear from two current coaches at UH, get their thoughts and what stirred up lots of conversation today. Now, not everybody is happy about the end of the rainbow at UH. So former rainbow athletes and coaches shared their thoughts with our Justin Fujioka today. We got team coverage on KITV4 News at 10. This decision was made for what's best moving forward. Rich Miano is currently a Cougar. In his past, he's the only UH athlete to play as a Rainbow and coach as a Warrior. This is a tough decision. and Ben Jay is paid to make tough decisions, and I think being from Ohio State and a university with that type of branding, um, I think that he made the proper choice. A choice that Miano says will attract more student athletes to Manoa. I think it's a, a good idea. I mean, some teams were just Warriors, and then some teams were Rainbow Warriors. So it's kind of confusing, but it's good that just all the men's team is just Warriors. I think it's a lot easier. Riley Wallace, known for his fiery temper as head men's basketball coach, agrees with a single name, but is upset at the choice. In my heart, we'll always be the Rainbow Warriors. I like that. Uh, the Warrior part was fine, the Rainbow was fine. So I thought the connection of the Rainbow Warriors uh, satisfied all of them. It started with June Jones. Uh, his assistants didn't like the rainbow. Uh, they associated with the rainbow coalition and, and the, the rainbow uh, standing for the gays, which have been accepted totally across the country now. And, and to me, uh, all that was not uh, real, a uh, uh, real reason to take it out. One of Wallace's star players, Alika Smith, says he feels the same way. You put your heart and soul into something and all of a sudden they want to change it, different image, whatever it may be, but... You know, at the end of the day, you're still University of Hawaii, and I think that's the main thing. A university that has a lot of work ahead in making this branding change a reality. I still wish that we had the rainbows, but I think it's going to be a good change, and, and, and the players will, you know, they'll carry on that confidence and that, and that swagger, you know, about, about the warrior. Most of the people we spoke with tonight did agree on one thing, that the rainbow should never die and that fans should continue yelling, let's go Bulls. Some even suggested a throwback night to bring the, war the rainbow back from time to time. Live in the newsroom, Justin Fujioka, KITV4 News.